Hi guys, and it is the Grady Gem PSA Grading Service, and we are back with another video. Uh, crazy video, this one, 180 cards, uh, and the first lot of Lost Thunder back in the UK, uh, according to the um, eBay listings. Anyway, um, this is actually a rather boring one, because most of the cards are in fact mine. Um, so that means we've just got one other person in here, and that one other person is a very good friend of mine, and that is Tom. I'm hoping to get this as a surprise from him, because um, I don't think he'll be expecting me to have him as a separate customer. But this is Tom at TC Shad IRL, uh, and he's been a massive help with the web products and the websites, as you've seen, Grady GM, Grady Groudon.com. He is almost 100% responsible for them. Uh, so let's see how he did. Unfortunately, he knows, and I know, he wasn't the best grade in the world. Um, so he opened, he bought these packs himself and he opened them and they were all packed fresh. Actually, everything in here is packed fresh. And this is new stuff. Uh, and unfortunately, just got the one gem on the Mewtwo GX. Look at that. I'm hoping that I can get him his money back at least. Um, these will be available on gradygroudon.com, as will all of these while this video goes out um, for the best price. Cheaper than the eBay listings anyway. But yeah, let's really get into these. So there is one card in here that was not pat fresh and got the grade expected, which was the Smurgle from Neo Discovery, which got the near min eight, um, which was, was fine. Uh, the rest of the cards in here, though, should have been pretty gemmy. Uh, it didn't go according to plan on the new stuff. It definitely did. So you're talking your Dragon Majesty and the Lost Thunder. Uh, I don't know if that just dragged the grades down, grades down everything else because they are so mint. If you uh, know what I mean. They are so gem. Uh, it, it definitely could have been the case. However, overall, as you can see, PSA did not like... Look, I mean, that is... Um, yeah. I mean, you'd, in my opinion, you're going to find gems of that quality. Um, and you can buy it for a Mint 9. And I can see why Mint 9s are very popular. That one, I can totally see why it's a new Mint 8. Because at the end of the day, there isn't... It is literally specs of difference. Like that one is a gem, uh, in my opinion. The the front is pretty perfect, and the back is, yeah. I, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it in the account of the whitening. You know, there's no chip or anything. It's just see, there's a chip that one, so that's why that got the name in eight. However, we can sit here and moan about PSA all day and every day, but we have had some good results actually. Um, in recent submissions, customer submissions, thankfully. I'd much prefer them to get the good results than me, as weird as that sounds. But it just, um, well, it helps the Grady Gem service. We did get a load of amazing call cool cards in this order. And I think I've moaned a bit too much at the start because we are going to see some spectacular cards. Again, all these were packed fresh, guys. Um, only the Squirtle from our EX Crystal Guardians. Managed to get the 10 pack fresh. Thank goodness I didn't pull anything amazing um, because that would have been a bit of a disappointment. Last name in eight and it come back. Pack fresh. Uh, and the mint nine on the war turtle. That's the first stack gone. Thankfully, that's probably one of the worst stacks. Uh, next stack. Yes. Oh, look, we're going to start off with a Pikachu breakthrough name in eight. Who wants that for 10p? Uh, mint nine, Pikachu. Again, all of these pack fresh guys. Uh, Kyoga EX from Primal Clash. I should actually say though, pack fresh does not mean gem. I mean, it definitely doesn't. Naming eight, what I would expect is there's whitening, yeah. So like, I'm car. I don't didn't expect this card to get a gem. Uh, this card did though, and it's the same one, so that's good. At least one of them did. And then of course these were from my Unleash packs, uh, which we did opening with PD Winnell, and I was really hoping for a prime. A couple of primes in particular, the Blissey, the Tyranitar, or the Steelix. We didn't get one, unfortunately. Uh, however, I've now picked most of those up in PSA 10. Apart from the Blissey, if you've got a Blissey PSA 10 Prime, let me know. These holof these reverse foils are absolutely beautiful. That's why I sent them in. Look at that. Again, Pat Fresh 8 is just a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? Again, Pat Fresh 8, yes, yes. Mint 9 Fisherman. This was probably the best quality Heart Gold Soul Silver card there was. And I'll tell you what, it's very close. I can see why that one was given at Mint 9, though. Lo lovely card, though. The Whooper and the Magic Carp, and obviously the Fisherman in there. Very cool card. As is this one, actually. Pikachu. Not a Pikachu you see all the time. But I tell you, it's a beautiful card. Again, a bit unlucky with the Mint 9. 
magic art near in eight i can't wait till we just go cracking into the gems because they're all going to come in one go i know they are i think all of these guys were basically for you probably expect them around the 10 pound mark something like that so if you are into the cheaper end of psa cards Definitely get onto Graded Groudon because they'll be there for the best price. Free postage in the UK as well. Loads of shameless plugins. I do apologise. I don't like doing it. But, I mean, put it this way. Stuff you buy off Graded Groudon does all go back into the hobby. And I buy more for my collection. <laughs> so, I hope that's not a problem. <laughs> Dragon Majesty. Here we go. Uh, right, mid nine. Oh, no, 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 Charizard. What are you playing at? These again, Pat Fresh. Oh, that is harsh. There is like a minor. Okay, this one. That's a mint nine. That's harsh. Very harsh. Uh, these were from the box sets, the Nimin eights. I kind of, yeah, I get them. They've been damaged. You know, when you take them out of the box sets, we did that video upside down. I'm definitely not going to link that video into the card above because um, that was not our finest moment on Graded Gem YouTube. Uh, mint nines on the two shining cohos. It'll be interesting to see where the modern ho uh, modern shinings go uh, in the future. Again, all of these are taken out of the pack. Mm, okay. Uh, Nimin 8 on the Dark Ray. I think this is the best one, XY194, from that particular pack. Uh, Keldeo got Mint 9. Excellent. 5 on the Victini. Jeez. That's a bit harsh, guys. Okay. Celebi, another beautiful card. I really do like this Celebi. I think now, do we start going into the gems now? Can I stop moaning? Yes, we do. We've got a Volcanion, uh, just an, not an EX, just an XY185 Gem Mint 10. And then do you remember those Mega Power Collection boxes we opened? Gem Mint 10, uh, Mega Lucario EX, two of them. Not going to keep you too long. Then we've got the Zygarde EX, two Gem Mint 10s. Jolteons, two Gem Mint 10s. These are Beautiful cards. I really love this Jolteon. It's got such a good artwork there. And the, the texture on the card is also very cool. What's that? Another stack done. There we go. But plenty more stacks. I'm trying to keep this. I'm trying to go as quickly as possible in this video. I know where they are, all my cards as well. And I know the ones that all my cards usually get less views. Because um, I know people like to see their own cards on the videos. And that's fair enough. Um, that is the whole point of them, really. <laughs> I mean, you enjoy it. I enjoy shooting it. It's a, it's a mutually beneficial uh, videos. And that's why they get the views. Gem it 10 on a Pikachu. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, no. You brought us right back to Earth. <laughs> Lassle. GX. Oh. Yeah, a lot of the stuff outside of Lost Thunder and Dragon Majesty just... I mean, these were all, they were still packed fresh because you know, like the loose packs you get out of the boxes. Like, there were still packed fresh cards. Like, we picked this out of a pack. That one, I understand. That one may be a bit harsher. Drampa GX Full Art. Anyone who wants that? Um, Drampa GX Non Full Art. Yeah, I'd, maybe I shouldn't have submitted some of these. Maybe I'm moaning for no reason. Togapex GX for Gemin 10. Beautiful cards. It'll be interesting to see where the GXs go. Obviously, you've got the new tag teams out. By the time this video gets out, tag team will be a major thing. Um, I'm unsure of whether I'm going to get booster boxes on them at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure how... Is it, is it just going to be a spontaneous set? Is it going to be something they're going to do for the next 12 months? I don't know about the desirability, the collectability. I think they're cool as a one-off. And if they, if they confirmed it was just a one-off, I'd be like, wicked... Uh, but, you know, I'm not really expecting that sort of information from them. Uh, near Mint 8, La Luna, Sun and Moon. And Mint 9, Lost Thunder, Suicune. I do love my Suicunes. I think they're just beautiful cards. Uh, and anyway, let's carry on. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got some Lost Thunder. Uh, Lost Thunder, we have got the Spell Tag. The gold Lost Thunder Secret Rares actually did really well. The Netball, I'm not going to say no to that one. Uh, Pikachu, Gem Mint 10, Reverse Foil. Very difficult to get Gem on. See, I mean, I would argue maybe that could have been a Mint 9. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, Mint 9 on the Gyarados. Uh, lovely card, though. I just sent in the reverses for Evolutions. 
Might be a mini set I'll try and collect and gems because they are really cheap. I mean, 15 quid or 10, 15 quid uh, per card, if that. And how cool would a whole set of evolutions, reverses uh, in Gem Mint 10 be? Oh, this is a beautiful one. Uh, this is the reverse foil Gyarados um, from Ancient Origins. Beautiful card. I love the, uh, basically the reverse foils on the top and the bottom. But the artwork for this Gyarados is spectacular. Rayquaza EX, I was quite excited when we pulled this one. Uh, definitely it was a gem contender, but it got them in nine. Salamance from Roaring Skies. <laughs> Who wants that? Roaring Skies Pikachus with the Neomint eights. We're famous. Uh, two in the Neomint eight. One mint nine. That didn't go so well, did it? Uh, Ancient Origins. Oh, no, sorry. Fates Collide Lugia. Beautiful card, that. I, I mean, I really love this card. I would love a gem, actually, to put into my uh, spontaneous collection. I've got a box of, basically, cards that don't really fit into any of my other sets, but I just like them. And the Gyarados is maybe one of them. Uh, the Breakpoint Secret with Manaphy there. Uh, what's that other Pokemon? Oh, Greninja. Wow, I completely just look past Greninja then uh, when looking at the artwork. Yeah, maybe a bit unlucky. This was another card I really wanted the gem on. I would have kept this. Parallel City Reverse. If you've got this in Breakthrough and Gem Mint 10, I would be interested in buying it off you. I think it's just an absolutely beautiful card. The Staff World Champions, Championships version would be more desirable, and I would pay a pretty penny for it. Your Vettel Breakthrough Mint 9. Marowak Breakthrough Gem Mint 10 Break. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a $500 card right now. I'm, I'm really lying to you. That is not a $500 card. I wish it was. Could you imagine Marowak Bank Break being a $500 card? Uh, Pikachu Reverse Fall Breakthrough. So many stacks. Stacks and stacks and stacks. We go to another Lost Thunder Secret, which did get the Gem Mint 10, the Electro Power. Uh, Sun and Moon, Sargalio GX, Neomin 8, Neomin 8 on the Laluna, uh, Primarina, Mint 9, oh, Lorantis, Sun and Moon, Gem Mint 10, not bad. Oh, remember, we opened all the Shining Legends, so we got some Shining Arceus, again, all packed fresh, these were Shining Arceus, Gem Mint 10, Shining Jirachi, it'd be very interesting. I mean, I would like to do a video on these, and maybe now I've got some in my hands, um, I could maybe do a video on what the potential future for them is. Obviously, the Watsy Shining's very popular. Gem Mint 10 on this Mewtwo. Gem Mint 10 on the Raikou. I don't know why I sent you away. You must have looked really good. Um, Raichu GX. Mint 9. Then we go to the Pikachus. I love sending Pikachus. I think they're such, they've got such collectability and, desire, and desirability. People just love having them in their collection. Pikachu is massively popular. It's like Charizard. Uh, unlike Mashamp Breaks. One Neom in 8, one Gem Mint 10. And the Nido King Break as well. Mint 9. How many stacks that we got left, guys? We have got one, two, hello, one, two, and four. Three, three stacks left. Let's go with the one with the choice helmet on. Gem Mint 10. I think a lot of these secret rares from Lost Thunder are pop one currently. Uh, Adventure bag. Oh, yeah. This annoyed me. And you guys would have seen me pull this live uh, on the... Well, if you watch the videos from the booster box. I really can't see the reasoning for the Mint 9. And it's such a shame for me. Because, I, again, it's one of those cards with gems. I, I could have just put it into my spontaneous collection. Only hyper not to get a gem. Sorry to wreck it. Mimikyu gem. Uh, Zorora gem mint 10. GX. Oh, this is a cool one. Professor Elm's Lecture. I think this is going to have a lot of popularity going on into the future. So it's style, Chikorita and... <coughs> and Cyndaquil, of course. My apologies. My real apologies there. Uh, Morty, what are you doing letting the crew down? Again, I mean... It's pretty much perfect. Mint 9. Um, Father, Gem Mint 10. I really shouldn't moan about the Lost Thunder results because they were very good. I think, I think those two Mint 9s were basically it and every other card we pulled uh, did get... The Gem Mint 10 grade. Mimikyu, full art. 
It's going to be a very popular card. Beautiful, some of these are. They're absolutely beautiful. No matter what you think about the modern sets, some of these cards are absolutely stunning. Uh, Low and Nine Tails is probably another example. Uh, Tyranitar, I prefer this to the Hyper Rare. I really love this Tyranitar. I mean, it's got an amazing effect on it. Um, a Cargo, Gem Mint 10, Full Art, two Full Arts. Uh, Verizion, Gem Mint 10, GX, Full Art. Lugia, just a regular dude. With two Gem Mint 10s. And then the Mimikyu with the Mint 9. Two more stacks, guys. Two more stacks to go. And then I prompt... Well, you can actually just click off the video if you want. I watch PSA Returns myself. I find it very difficult to be engaged for longer than 10 minutes. Um, and if you have got here, I do really appreciate you sticking around. Skeptile GX. A lot of these are dupes. Because uh, they're the more common GXs. Shuckle GX. Very violent looking shuckle, I would say. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No. Oh, why? That's a shame, isn't it? Ultra and a Crosma GX gold card, mint nine. Fiery Flint from Dragon Majesty. I'm not having much luck with the secret rares from Dragon Majesty. It's definitely the off centre. 100%. They did fix that in Lost Thunder, thankfully. Uh, Mint 9 on the Reshiram. Blaine's Last Stand getting the gem. Dragonite GX. Gem Mint 10. Uh, White Kurium Gem Mint 10. I can't remember where these come from. Did they come from like the other pack? Salamanch GX. Gem Mint 10. Salamanch GX. Gem Mint 10. Salamanch GX. Gem Mint 10. Bloody hell, why... Why did we pull so many uh, Salamances? Altaria GX, Gem Mint 10. Mint 9. Gem Mint 10, it should have been. Dragonite GX, Gem Mint 10. I sometimes feel like they don't want to give you too many gems. So they just chuck them in 9, especially on the newer stuff. I'm just like, I, yeah. They must find the smallest fault with the card against the others. And they're like, yeah, Mint 9. Uh, Mimikyu 9. Mimikyu Gem. A low and nine tails, and if you've been keeping up, this is the last stack. You are free to go very soon. Two of them. Oh, Genesect GX. I didn't really know what to think about this card's artwork. I wasn't even sure about sending it in. Um, we'll see how it goes. Tyranitar GX, another beautiful card, even though it's just a regular GX. I really like the look of it. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this card's name. Oh, wow. We have four of them. Four Gem Mint 10s. Oh, there we go. Click them together. Get them on the stack. Got to keep stacking, guys. Uh, Zeraro GX Gem Mint 10. Oh, cool. We got some sweet coins to end it, I think. Two Gem Mint 10s there. Very cool indeed. Macargo Near Mint 8. Macargo Mint 9. And Macargo Gem Mint 10. Beautiful. Uh, thanks very much, guys, for watching if you got this far. Uh, and I am, I'm literally, all of these are available on gradygradon.com now for the best price, 10% off any eBay prices. Uh, but I'm going to leave it to the outro. Thanks, guys. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradygem.com. Thanks, guys.